This Heritage Humane Society's Pause for Pause segment is proudly sponsored by Mermaid Books. All right, so as I said before, my name is Fly, I'm Brian. I am filling in for Mr. Greg Martin in the morning, and yes, I am sitting right here in the studio and right across uh, from me in the studio, I have Jennifer from the uh, Heritage Humane Society uh, located right here in Williamsburg. Jennifer, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Oh, fantastic. Still trying to wake up and <laughs> yeah. uh, clear the cobwebs out, as they say. So, uh, as we mentioned before, the actual show started. Uh, for those listeners that I'm sure most folks are already accustomed to who the uh, Heritage Humane Society is, who are you and what do you do exactly for those who don't? Yeah, so we are located here in Williamsburg. We're off of Waller Mill Road, um, and we take in stray um, and surrender pets um, and try to find really great homes for them. Um, so we have um, all sorts of adoptable dogs, cats. Mm -hmm. um, it's kitten season right now. Is it? So we are busting at the seams with kittens right now. Um, if anybody is in the market um, for one or two uh, kittens, uh, Surprisingly, if you take two kittens, it's actually a little easier on you because they'll, they'll play with each other. Um, so we always try to push for uh, two kittens to get adopted. Um, and we also have small mammals like rabbits, ferrets, guinea pigs. Um, so we, uh, we take in stray and surrenders and then we try to find really great homes for them here in the community. Now you mentioned kittens, but I see we have a very, very large cat sitting right here on the studio table as we speak and uh, his name is uh, Farrell, right? Fer Farrell. Farrell. Yeah, so All right. he actually um, is one of our longer residents uh -huh. um, here our, at Heritage. Um, he's been with us since January, okay. um, so we're really trying to, to plug and get a really good home. Um, if you guys watch the video, you will see how absolutely sweet he is. He's just getting all sorts of love from me right now. Yeah. Um, he is one of our um, senior cats, so he's seven years old, uh -huh. um, and he is uh, an indoor-outdoor cat, so mm -hmm. he likes adventures um, outside, but he also really likes to come inside and kind of hang out on the couch with you as well. Um, so we're really trying to find a really good home for him because he's just the sweetest thing in the world. My goodness, and uh, quite the attention getter too, yes. I see. I think we're going to have to put a microphone in front of him. I think he has things to say. Yeah. Uh, so uh, in any event, uh, we mentioned something about uh, animal surrendering. Are most of the animals uh, surrendered by their owners who might realize, uh, do they do that because they realize that it's more of a responsibility than they could handle and they decide, hey, I want to find a better home and, uh, you know, better possibilities or... Yeah, it, it sort of varies. Um, certainly we, um, that's definitely one of the um, things sometimes, sometimes people don't realize um, that it does, it is a lot of work taking care of an animal and we always want to make sure um, that we find a good home for the animals. So there's different situations. Uh, we do surrenders for James City County, the city of Williamsburg, okay. and York County. Um, so that's our jurisdiction. Um, and then we also um, take in strays as well. Um, so yeah, it definitely varies story-wise. How many animals would you say that you guys give out each year? Um, so right now we have adoption wise, I know it's over 500 right now, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, if you go to our website, we keep it updated with um, all of the adoptions we have and a little more information about us. Um, so if you go to www.heritagehumane.org, uh -huh. um, we keep that updated, but I know it's over 500, which is fantastic. That is incredible. And 500, does overpopulation become an issue at the Heritage Humane Society? Yeah, so one big thing that um, <coughs> we advocate for is um, spaying and neutering mm -hmm. um, your pet. Um, so all dogs and cats that are adopted from us um, leave uh, vaccinated. They are either spayed or neutered mm -hmm. um, and they have something called a microchip. Um, so that's something um, where if your pet ever did get lost, um, it's a quick, so whenever animal control picks up or a veterinarian has, the very first thing that they do is scan for a microchip mm -hmm. and that leads uh, you right back to where um, they, they live. So we always encourage microchipping and spaying and neutering is a big thing for us. Um, we offer low-cost spays and neuters, um, so if anybody's interested in learning a little more, um, definitely go to our website. We have something called the Neuter Scooter um, okay. that comes That's once clever. a month. 
Um, and it's actually a really big van. Uh -huh. um, it's through the uh, Virginia Beach SPCA. Um, and they come once a month. Um, and they actually do vaccinations, low cost spays and neuters right Excellent. in our parking lot. Um, and that's available to the community. So definitely uh, check out our website to learn more about that. It's interesting that you mentioned microchipping. I think animals are coming along the uh, lines of humans. It's like, because we have the chip on our actual debit card yeah. now. So, wow. <laughs> animals, that's like their own little social security. Uh, kind of apparatus there, if you will. So um, I mentioned something about fundraisers too before we got started. What have you guys have in store lately as uh, far as charity events? Right now, the, the one we have uh, coming up is we are gonna be at Buckrow Beach uh, okay. on August 4th. Um, they have a, a pet day going on that day. So there's gonna be other shelters. Um, there's gonna be um, all sorts of kind of dog and cat related uh, vendors. Um, and we're gonna be out there with the table and we're gonna be bringing a couple of our adoptable dogs out there. Um, Excellent. So we try to reach out to the community a lot um, to do um, different things. So that way we can get word um, what Heritage Humane Society is about. And also it's a really great way to get our animals out in the community. Um, so a lot of times when we do these events, we bring a couple dogs with us so that mm -hmm. way they get a chance to have a day outside. Um, we have these really cute adoptable vests that we put on them uh, and so that way it's uh, really obvious Good that stuff. they're up for adoption. So it's, it's a great thing all around. Um, so definitely come uh, to Buckrow Beach on August 4th. Who let the dogs out? Heritage Humane Society. <laughs> That's who. And if you're just now uh, tuning in, we have been chatting with uh, Jennifer from the Heritage Humane Society. And I've got to take a quick break when I come back. More fantastic stuff from them. That's right, and 29 minutes before the hour, once again, Mr. Greg Martin has taken the day off. My name is Flying Brian. Pleasure to be here with you on this fantastic Tuesday morning, and also fantastic to have along with me, Miss Jennifer from the Heritage Humane Society. Now, Jennifer, during the break, I believe we were discussing about some of the volunteer opportunities that the uh, foundation has to offer. What can you elaborate on that a little bit for our listeners? Yeah, absolutely. We um, are always in need for volunteers year-round. Mm -hmm. um, they are crucial to um, us keep keep on running. Um, we I'm actually the volunteer coordinator there. Okay. Um, so. Uh, if you're interested in helping out, we have all sorts of options for our volunteers. Um, some of our volunteers love to just come in, help clean in the morning. Um, we always have a, a ton of laundry and dishes, you can imagine, with having over 150 uh, pets that are in our care. Mm -hmm. um, we also have something called dog and cat socialization. Okay. Um, so if you're just uh, interested in kind of coming in, um, as I mentioned earlier, um, socialization with our pets is crucial um, because it really helps them uh, get comfortable. Um, some of our pets do come from st stressful backgrounds mm -hmm. um, where people might not might not have been the most positive. Yeah, neglected um, or they not. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So um, it's really helpful for volunteers to help out with that because we want our adoptable pets to get really comfortable um, around people because that way um, they would have a really be a better chance of getting yeah. adopted. Absolutely. Um, so they're really important helping out with that. Um, and then, as I mentioned, we also have um, off-sites where we go to um, different organizations um, like Buckrow Beach on August 4th, and our volunteers really help um, us um, with those events. Mm -hmm. um, so we have dogs that go out, and our volunteers help walk dogs for the events. Um, we also have a really fantastic foster program, mm -hmm. and we are always in need of some more fosterers. Um, so a lot right now, the big thing that we need is fosterers to take care of some of our kittens. Mm -hmm. um, Cause I, as I mentioned earlier, we have lots and lots of kittens. Yeah. Um, but we are in need of fosters year round. So definitely go to our website, uh, heritagehumane.org. Um, and there is a section for volunteering and for fostering. Mm -hmm. You can actually fill out the application online and learn a little more about our program. You, you mentioned something earlier about the socializing or social socialization of mm -hmm. the pets themselves. I had, I couldn't help but have this image in my mind. I was like, okay, we as humans use social media. I was like, what are, yeah. what are the animals doing now? It's like, I guess they're not using Twitter, like, yeah. eight, like the hour or something, yeah. something insane like something that. Cute. But, but uh, in any event, uh, the hours, what are the adoption hours for the folks that may be interested? And I think there was a uh, Surrendering hours, too, two, two separate if, if folks want to pick up or if folks want to drop off. Yeah, so we are um, we are open for adoptions uh, Tuesday through Sunday, uh, 12 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, we are closed to the public on Mondays just because that's our <coughs> deep cleaning day mm -hmm. um, where we really thoroughly clean all of our animal areas. Um, and then for surrenders, you do um, have to call ahead, um, but our normal surrender hours are from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., seven days a week. Excellent. 
Um, so yeah, definitely check out our website. Um, the nice thing about um, if you're interested in possibly adopting is we do um, post pictures and videos and information about all of our adoptable cats. Um, Pharrell, for example, the video that's on his um, little bio on the website right now is okay. actually a previous uh, radio segment we did with him a okay. couple months ago. And for all the listeners of Reminder, he is in the studio right now, and he's, I think he's, well, he's right, right in front of all of our microphones. He's just trying to say something right <laughs> yeah. now, like I am. <laughs> yeah, he's made his uh, home here, I think. Excellent. Um, but yeah, you can learn a little more about them. Um, I highly encourage it so you can see what we have available. Um, and then, yeah, stop on by 12 to 4.30, Tuesday through Sunday. All right. Well, I thank you very much for coming in, Jennifer and Mr. Fur. Well, I, uh, I think it goes without saying, much appreciation goes out to you guys and all that you do to help out these animals. And if you're just now tuning in, once again, this is why Brian filling in for Greg Martin for Martin in the Morning, minus Greg Martin. And uh, once again, that's the Heritage Humane Society located here in Williamsburg. One more time with that address again, Jennifer. 430 Waller Mill Road. There you go. And it's heritagehumane.org. Thanks again, Jennifer. Pharrell. Okay, well, I think he's a little preoccupied right here with Jacob. <laughs> he said he's, he's just kind of camera. Well, he's enjoying the camera, what can we say? <laughs> All right, so let's go and uh, continue on. And uh, my name's Brian Bryan for the third time here at WMBG FM 97.7 and AM 740, Williamsburg's radio station. Oops. This Heritage Humane Society's Pause for Pause segment is proudly sponsored by Mermaid Books.